Hello YouTube land! My name is Castle Caden and today we're playing a little bit of Minecraft 1.4.5. What we're going to be doing today is a little bit different. I'm actually going to be setting up um, a basic, you know, water cannon. Because why not, right? Just going to get this part all set up and figured out. Get some water going. I just need to see how far the water will, in fact, go. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. So, for this step, what we need, first off, getting the rabbit out of the way, her bunny. This will, in this demonstration, this will be a seven cannon, or a seven block charged cannon. Just going to get all of the stuff done. What you'll also need is some redstone powder. The first string, or the first side, you'll want to go right to the very end without touching the final TNT block. What you'll want to do for this one is do the same thing. However, you will want to use some repeaters. I usually like to use five or six. It really depends on where you want to hit. If you want to do it in the air, if you want to wait, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually see how this works. Now keep in mind that redstone powder, in order to trigger TNT, non-directionally has to be done. Uh, technically, as you can see, right above the block itself. However, that's not always the case. So do keep in mind. You know, you can do this different ways. This is the simplest way that I used to do it. I used to create one, which actually used to look like a giant gun which was actually kind of fun and intimidating but I mean it used to take a lot longer to set up so let's have some fun boom ooh that one launched me a little bit too because of the way that I have this set up it won't actually cause damage unless I see it however we'll try that again maybe we can actually trigger it um you know what I'm actually also going to do an extra one right here because it seemed like there was still a little bit more time before the explosion in order for it to trigger. We'll see, though. Okay. Boom. Yeah, that launch is a little too far, unfortunately, for me to see. I wonder if I can actually see that. No. Okay, so it would have actually exploded right here, the first one. I wonder how far the second one would have went. The second one would have been right here. So, I mean, normally, if in a faction server, you'd actually be able to see these actually destroyed. And with my settings right now, you can't unless it's in view. And my render settings, I believe, are a little low right now, yeah. So what I'm going to do is set them really far. It's a little laggy, but, you know, it happens. Where's my cannon? Here we are. Oh, okay, so it did actually render. My apologies. I was going to say, normally it doesn't render, but I mean... There we go. Okay. And that's something with one of my mods right now that I'm actually testing, so don't mind that too much. But yeah, this is how you actually create a TNT cannon with variable dif or distances based on how many blocks of TNT that you actually use. Now, let's do the same thing, but let's do a really short cannon. So I'm just going to get one set up. There are a lot of animals around me right now, and I don't like that, even though I'm on peaceful. Okay, so this is going to be a really short and stubby cannon, basically. That's the best way that I can describe it. Uh-huh. And what I'm actually going to do is extend the... Uh, barrel just a little bit over here just so I can get some extra repeaters going because I don't want it to kind of blow up near the very end or like in the air type of thing I don't know how that one got down there but that's okay okay so this is going to be a three block cannon I'm still going to try to put in you know a couple of repeaters here because those are quite important. I like to at least include five. Maybe six if I can fit them, but you know. Just food for thought. Alright, let's go. I think I did this, right? Yep. 
Hey -oh. So I mean you can do short and stubby ones though the accuracy of them is a little bit less uh, accurate so to speak. I'm actually going to knock that one off just to see the difference. Whoops. <laughs> Don't want that one there, do we? Alright, let's hit one more time. That's it. There we go.